Hi, I'm Lauren Gray. This is MVTV, and you're in the right place if you want to understand the opposite sex, improve your relationship, and grow in love. And if you've made the leap to move in with your honey and suddenly you're dealing with all these new relationship problems, this episode is for you. Today's question comes from Chloe, and she writes, Hello, Lauren. I have been living with my boyfriend for three months and we've been together for two years. Lately, we've been bickering more often and our communication seems to shut down. He pulls away and I get sad. It's hard when this happens because we used to never be like this. Yesterday, he said he needed space from me. He said he's mad he needs to tell me where he is and I expressed, it makes me feel safe to know. I'm scared he's pulling away. How can I handle this without losing what I want? I get it. This is supposed to be the most romantic time. Why are there suddenly issues? And yet, across the board, moving in together creates a whole new host of communication challenges. Bickering, misunderstanding, secrets, silence, tension, stress, emotions. <whistles> Believe it or not, the lessons you'll learn from this will serve you exponentially in the years to come. You can thank these issues for showing up now because it's gonna make the rest of your life together so much easier. I've lived with my partner for nine years now and we love it. I can honestly say that because of our systems and agreements, the shelter in place mandate added zero stress to our relationship. And the great news for you is I can point to the exact challenges in our first year living together that taught us so many of the relationship lessons that have carried us through nearly a decade and a global pandemic with romance and fun. And the moments that taught us the most were the moments when he pulled away. It's one thing to be cool with him taking alone time when you live apart and you don't need to be physically around him when he pulls away and turns off the warmth. But it's a whole other kit and caboodle to actually be confronted with his cave time and still have to be around him. Cave time, time where a man pulls away from intimacy to be by himself or with other men to rebuild his testosterone levels and find well-being. Suddenly, when you share the same space and he pulls away, it can feel cold, lonely, and terrifying. You ask yourself, why is he so cold and distant all of a sudden? Is it something I did? Should I try to make it better by being overly giving? Ask him what's wrong? make him jealous to get his attention, pick a fight to engage him, or simply ignore it? Great questions, great problem. This is the problem that actually solves everything. Let me show you. Why is he so cold and distant all of a sudden? He's cold and distant because he needs alone time to balance his hormones take a break from the honey-do list, and either deal with his problems or ignore them, whatever he needs in the moment. Is it something you did? Most of the time, it is not something you did. He just needs a break from being a partner for a minute so that he can just be an individual. This is a human need, but it is also a biological need for men. What should you do to make it better? You should ignore it. But it's hard to ignore something when you're not clear on what you're dealing with. So you need to set up an easy language you both can use to communicate around this need for taking space. This is one of those agreements that has carried Glade and I through so much. How to communicate the need for taking space. The best system for couples who live together is one where these words are said out loud and are met with understanding, acceptance, and a no big deal attitude. I just need some space and I'll let you know when I'm ready to reconnect. 
ideally no one ever pulls away and you're both perfect partners all the time with so much to give and no personal needs. But this is not reality for human beings. So let's clarify what you actually need in order for a realistic system to work for you. All you really need to know is when he's pulling away so you don't have to guess, have your gestures rejected, or take his change in attitude personally. As long as he feels safe that his request will be met with love and understanding, not hurt, tears, or neediness, then he will gradually learn to self-connect and ask for the space he needs as soon as he needs it. This is a training process for both of you. Neither of you will be good at this at first. This is important to note so you don't get frustrated or lose hope. Practice this line and give each other a lot of space to make mistakes. Moving in together gives rise to this relationship problem, but it also creates the opportunity to develop this skill. Your work here will pay you back 100-fold over the coming decades. Once you've gone through the learning curve, this becomes business as usual. I need some space today are words that are casually said in our house on a regular basis. We know to respect the request and trust that the one taking space will let the other person know when they are ready to connect again. Sometimes it's just for an hour. Sometimes it's a couple days. But because we have practiced this over and over again, the fear is gone. We trust that we always return to each other in love. When it comes to wanting to know where he is and what he's doing, he feels like this encroaches on his space and that's why he gets all cranky. The more you respect his space, the faster he'll return to you and the more generous he'll be with his love. However, I understand wanting to know when he's coming home. I too feel safer knowing when to expect the front door to open. So my advice is a win-win compromise. He doesn't need to report to you what he's doing or who he's with. You need to trust him. But he needs to text you when he's coming home. This should include a text earlier in the day or night with an estimated time of arrival back at home and another text when he's actually on his way home. This will give you the peace of mind you need. Over time, he'll loosen up, build trust with you, and become more and more open about what he's doing and where he's going. But for right now, two things are happening. One, He's used to a certain freedom where he can come and go as he pleases and he doesn't need to tell anyone about it. The last time he had to report to someone, it was to his mom. So naturally, when you start asking him for his schedule, he rebels because it feels like you're mothering him. This will go away as he realizes that you're not going to tell him what he can and cannot do like his mom. You just wanna know. Two, he doesn't feel like his boundaries are being respected. Out of self-preservation so that he can get the space he needs, he exaggerates his boundary and refuses to tell you anything. This way he can ensure that he gets the alone time and the privacy he needs. Over time, he will relax his boundaries as he sees that you support his alone time and then it's no big deal. What about all the bickering? Bickering is also a very common and classic relationship problem after moving in together. This is because you are not taking enough space from each other. Whereas before, your relationship had a natural together, not together flow, now that you share the same space, you are together all the time. This doesn't work. It's not a sustainable system for well being. A good way to know whether you are spending too much time with your partner and need alone time is when you experience one of these clues. Overly prickly and irritated, overly sensitive, taking things personally, defensiveness, needy and insecure. Alone time will help both of you individually and exponentially as a couple. So. 
Find a good book and go in another room. Take a hike. Immerse yourself in a baking project while listening to loud music. Visit your family if you can. Get a glass of wine with a friend, take an online class, find a nice patch of grass and journal. Plant something and take care of it. The more projects you start, the more fun taking alone time will be. If you wanna successfully grow in love with the man you live with, this is the way to do it. Did you like this video? Please use the social sharing buttons and share it with your friends. Love is natural. We're built to love, but creating our dream relationship is something we learn. So keep learning, hold compassion in your heart and worthiness in your being because you deserve a great relationship. If you're ready for the love of your life, visit me at marsvenus.com and sign up for email updates. You'll get instant access to our sensational free course, how to get everything you want in relationships. You'll also get exclusive content, special offers, and personal insights from me that I only share in email. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on MVTV. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go. Whew.